What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to this weekend's test server session in War Robots with a very half-hearted attempt of nerfing the Ravana. I'll be explaining in great detail to you guys why, what has been done with the Ravana and what should have been done instead to actually balance the robot some more. And uh, first and foremost, though, we have also a healing buff for Wayland and Mender. We have a storm nerf. We have a... Um, a drone hangar re uh, rework where you can build your own drones and the cannibal titan reactor, okay? All those things I've nicely summarized for you guys in the top right corner of the screen here uh, on last weekend's test server session. In this weekend, I want to go into absolute detail about the Ravana, what they did here this weekend to try and balance it and why I th what has been done, what should have been done instead to actually help it, okay? Um, what they did is two things. First, they removed 10% HP from the Ravana and secondly, um, they made it so that the Ravana can no longer capture beacons while he is invincible, all right? So in, the, in his invincibility mode, in his transcendence mode, he can no longer capture beacons, uh, which is a good thing. It's a very good change, by the way. I strongly support this change uh, because it also means for other robots and setups that you can no longer capture beacons. All right, let's get his last stand. There we go. That should be it for his last stand. Maybe we can... Take him down completely now. Yep. Does he have his, his leech ability ready? No, I think he does not. Yep. See, I'm still going around killing everybody left and right with with the nerve of the Ravana. So what sh what what is done? Ten percent less HP, and secondly, you can no longer uh, capture beacons while you are on uh, on fa uh, invincible with phase shift and uh, Ravana ability mode. Okay. Um, so, um, I really strongly support the, the change with the invincibility, that is a very good idea, but the 10% the HP nerf, it's not going to change anything. Why? Because what's the problem with the Ravana, ladies and gentlemen? Let's be honest, Pixonic, you're listening probably, hopefully. What is the problem with the Ravana? The problem has never been that the Ravana has too much HP. The Ravana's problem is, or the problem that we have with the Ravana is that it's never really attackable. There are no no vulnerable moments where you can deal damage to it. And you haven't tackled the problem at all with your 10% HP nerf. Even if you remove 50% HP, which you shouldn't, but even if you did that, it wouldn't change anything because the Ravana really... The, the problem is you can't deal damage to it. That's the problem. And uh, that means you have to tackle the invincibilities so that they are more off that it's that the robot becomes vulnerable more often. And even players of Ravanas on the Facebook page have said the same thing. They said they should have increased the cooldown regeneration instead. Uh, instead of making it so that, yeah, wow, you have a 10% 10 10 HP less. The problem on the Ravana are two things, ladies and gentlemen. Two things. A, you are, you never have an opening to actually deal damage to the robot. You can never really deal damage to him. That's one of the problems. And B, it always gets close to you no matter what. You cannot stop the robot from getting into point-blank shotgun range. Those are the two problems. And to tackle those problems, A, you need to increase the in the re ability cooldown regeneration by at least 4 seconds per ability, okay? At least 4 seconds per ability, and that will actually make the robot more vulnerable in between. There will actually be some moments where you can damage it, okay? S uh, because he will not regenerate quite as fast, and there he's bound to have uh, less often his invincibility, okay? And the second thing is... Um, you need to be able to apply lockdown and suppression to this robot. You need to be able to stop him from getting too close to you. And this is something that is a game mechanic in the game. Pixonic, listen to me. This is very important now. You have introduced a game mechanic into the game called lockdown and suppression. These game mechanics apparently had their reason and purpose. And there is a, a reason to why they exist because they were necessary in some ways. It was important to keep robots away from other robots, to allow robots to lock down other robots, to make them so that they can't get in range. By doing, by implementing the Ravana, what you have done, you have basically disabled a game mechanic you have added to the game. 
With just a button press, the Ravana removes any negative effect. Suppression, lockdown, it's all gone, it's just gone. Robots like Raker, Invader, or Cerberus that, that basically live from these abilities, they are basically worthless in the meta now. Because you have implemented a game mechanic that you deleted in another update with the Ravana. And that's the real deal here, the problem. The Ravana cannot just disable mechanics of the game that have their reason to exist. It needs to remain locked down when it's locked, even when he uses his ability. Of course, he becomes invincible while being locked, because that is his ability, but he will not be able to just fly, uh, just move away. He not only does he disable the ability, he even gets faster! He even gets faster with his ability. So it's complete garbage in my opinion. Sorry to say it like this, but I'm really hoping you're listening to this. It's a game mechanic and it has a, it's a rule in the game and you can't just deactivate a rule that the game has. It is a reason for it to exist. So yeah, don't deactivate it and just <laughs> let this robot be, be above all those rules. But actually, this robot stays within those rules and the boundaries of the game. Same as every other robot too. Okay? So, I'm invincible again. And um, that is one really big problem. Of course, if you, uh, the suppression, for example, right, if you do the suppression, uh, you come out of your invincibility mode and the suppression is gonna be half over by that time. But that's cool, that's okay, it can't be like that. Um, but uh, at least you had to use an ability or something uh, to, to get through this. And you will still have, and that's important, you will still have two seconds of invincibility, and no, of suppression after your transcendence. So you, for, the, for those two storm shots that the Ravana usually does, exactly for those two storm shots the, the Ravana usually does, he's going to be uh, suppressed still. So he comes out of his invincibility, he's gonna fire one shot, and um, yeah, and then he's still suppressed, so the shot doesn't count, right? And this is what should have been done. What needs to happen, in my opinion. Take a look at the Aochun, for example. Does the Aochun get to fly away from suppression? Does the Ao the, supp the Aochun can be suppressed and he starts to fly. But he is still going to be stationary in the air. He's still going to, see to be suppressed. Nothing is going to ch remove the suppression. Because it's a game rule, and as such, it needs to apply to the game no matter what. Okay? So this is very important. Wow, nice alpha damage here on those rockets. And um, yeah, so very important to fix this problem. Make the Ravana lockdownable and unable to remove lockdown and suppression with his ability charge. That will change a lot and it will help the game very, very much. Right now the gameplay, and you might probably remember, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who watched my li live stream last weekend, how upset I got um, with the Ravanas and and how stupidly effective they are. Let's suppress the Ra uh, the Ares just as he goes with his ability. There we go. He's now doing less damage because he's suppressed. And um, yeah, I was I was really getting annoyed and upset because the Ravana playstyle is so stupidly effective and dumb and uh, and and just um, you know no skill requiring right. And yeah, so. Really, what we need here, by the way, I didn't run a Titan, uh, and I still did 2.4 million damage. Well, I did run the Titan just for a couple of seconds, but not really doing much damage with it. Um, so the Ravana nerf is a joke. The problem has never been too much HP. The Ravana is a robot that runs around with 400,000 HP on the life server maxed. That's the HP pool of a Titan. Why it ever got this much HP, don't ask me. I don't understand it either. But it has this much HP. Removing 40,000 of it, it doesn't change a thing because the problem is not this HP pool. The problem is that there aren't enough openings to even do damage in the first place. This is what needs to change. There must be more openings. So the ability cooldown needs to be longer. Four seconds at the very least. And secondly, why does the robot get... Here, pilot skill. Why does the robot get another... Ability charge at 50% clever survivor that shows that a lot of people have on Pixonic Maybe didn't really foresee the problem or understand what the problem is going to be with the robot because this needs to go A yet another ability charge. It's the problem is there are too many 
So we need to reduce them. And there are so many. There is this. Then there's a legendary pilot that just gives him another ability charge altogether. Why? Does not even a Komiho or a Strider get a simple dash? Why is this thing getting something that breaks the game, basically? Even a, another ability charge that he can even store up. He's not just getting it once, he can store those plus one all the time. So it can happen many times that he has this additional one. So, too many. Too many abilities, too long invincibilities, and too little room to actually damage the robot in between. And, uh, and also you're not able to stop him. You can't stop the robot from getting to you. You can't suppress the robot and make it deal less damage. You can't. You just can't make it deal less damage because it's unsuppressible, it's unlockable, and mechanics of the game, rules of the game, they're supposed to be working and they're supposed to have their place in this game. The robot and the Ravana simply stands above all of that. And that is just garbage. Shouldn't happen, ladies and gentlemen. Please, make this robot stand stationary when he's locked, even in his invincibility, and make the robot come out of his invincibility with suppression when he was suppressed shortly before. So that those two shotgun shots he puts out before he enters the next invincibility are still gonna be suppressed. Alright? And now suddenly you have a robot that will still be the number one, because it's still gonna be insanely ridiculous and it will still get easily in short range, but at least you have a chance to get yourself some room, you have a chance to not get him in point blank quite that fast. You, meet, might, you might be able to bait a few of his abilities in before. You might be able to just waste a bit of his abilities and get in cover and just, you know, outplay it. With mechanics that the game gives you and that are supposed to be working. Alright? And, um, yeah, those two things. The 10% Ravana nerf, scratch that. Give it the 10% back. Make it have 800,000 HP. It doesn't really matter. This thing is not, the problem is not the HP. <laughs> the problem is the fact that you can never deal damage to it, right? So the 10% HP is, is a joke. It's just, it's not, it's not even, it's not even real. It's not even there. It's not even, you're not, not noticing anything from that. What you'll notice is when the abilities are not as often. That... When their ability, when their robot is more more often vulnerable in between, that is what you're gonna notice. And that is what's gonna change and help the game from becoming dull and stupid to becoming skill-based again, a little bit. And where, you know, where you have to do something right in order to be successful, right? <laughs> Alright, so it was a long video. No, it was actually not that long, but I felt like it was important to mention this and clearly talk about it. Because, um, as I said, the other changes are summarized in the top right. I wanted to make this only about the Ravana. Um, because I find it important that this thing is dealt with correctly. Um, not even the hawk that is coming to the test server or, or, or live server sometime soon is that that crazy and that stupid. Although I think the hawk shouldn't really bypass the resistance of other robots. That's, you know, the hawk should only bypass resistance of titans. That's what it's meant to do. The uh, hawk is a titan breaker. It's supposed to be counter titans. But it's not supposed to counter a Fenrir or a phantom or other robots that need their resistance to work in the game right so in my opinion please remove the the, the resistance breaker on normal robots of the hawk but this thing here is way more annoying and dangerous and upsetting in the game than uh, the hawk could ever be so um yeah for now i'll leave it as that thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for being with me. you guys are awesome as always money signing off bye bye